Shalom everybody. Alright, I've just I was just speaking to a befriender in my ministry. You know, uh, a befriender is someone who is being equipped and who's being trained by us, us meaning real life ministry, RLM, the ministry that I founded in 1999. So a befriender is someone who is being trained to reach out to those who are either sexually slash relationally broken or those who are deaf. So that's what RLM does, okay? And for those who are new to me, I am Reverend Edmund Smith. And in Bahasa, our ministry is called Persatuan, Persatuan Bimbingan Kasih. Same thing, real love ministry. So let me go back to the purpose for this... Um, Facebook Live just to share uh, my little conversation. I'm not going to mention name the name of this befriender. So he, he asked me a legit question. He see he is actually um, befriending someone whom he cares for, and the person that we befriend, the person that we befriend, are known in my ministry as the befriendee. So this befriender is asking a question in regards to his befriendee and a befriendee uh, is someone who is actually broken someone who's relationally broken and what does that mean okay not uh, what does it mean to be sexually broken or relationally broken it simply means someone who's humbling themselves to say lord i'm struggling with my sexuality i'm struggling with my sexuality please break me and mold me and change me. We do not simply call people sexually broken. So please do not misunderstand real love ministry. Do not misunderstand us. We only call an individual sexually broken when they themselves choose to say, Lord Jesus Christ, please break me and mold me to make me the person that you need me to be, to make me the person I was born to become. So this brother that I was speaking to, this befriender that I'm speaking to, I was speaking to like just a few minutes ago, he was talking to me in regards to his befriendy. And what is his befriendy struggling with? His befriend, his befriendy is struggling with um, a transgender identity. Okay, for those who do not know what a transgender identity means, a transgender identity, if you have a transgender identity, it means you are a male who believes that you are a woman or you are a female and you believe that you are a man. That is someone with a transgender identity. I had a transgender identity. I was a person with a transgender identity since I was four years old. So I totally get it. So this befriender asked me this question direct to the point. He says, um, Reverend Edmund, why does my befriendy, who is a male, but he wants to have breast? I don't understand. He's telling, he's asking me this question. He's, and you know, so the befriender asked me earlier today, he said, why is my befriendy interested in having breast? I don't get it. So duh, of course you won't get it. If you don't have a transgender identity, you won't get it. You don't know if you don't know if you only a transgender woman. I was a transgender woman. A transgender woman is a male who believes that he is a she. Okay, a transgender man is a female who believes that she is a he. Okay, so I was a transgender girl since I was four years old all the way to 18. I became a transgender woman. I was a transgender person, a person until I was 21 years of age. So I totally get it. So the befriender is asking, is asking me is that why is my befriendy a man, okay, a male, sorry, a male, why is my befriendy interested in having breasts? Even though he is a male. So I told the befriender it's because he has a transgender identity. Then he went on to ask me what is a transgender identity? And I just explained. Most people, the majority, and for those of you who are watching this, watching me on Facebook Live, you do not have a transgender identity. Okay, the majority of people in the world have got a cisgender identity. It means you're regular. Cis is spelled with C-I-S. If you have a cisgender identity, it means you are normal. You are male and you love being a man. Or you are female, you love being a woman. So that means you have a cisgender identity. It means you are cisgendered, you are regular, you are normal. But I was not. And this befriendy that we are talking about right now, he is still not. I, n I, don't, I do not uh, have a transgender identity anymore. Okay, I've overcome all glory to Jesus Christ because truly, 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 um, there's nothing that God cannot do. 
you know these are not just some words in the in the fiction but this is in the word of god and i it, and it's not just in the word of god but i've experienced it myself i've been transformed through and through i'm not a perfect person there is no perfect human being but i've truly i have truly been transformed by the power of the holy spirit that came to my life through jesus christ so let's go back to the purpose for this facebook live so this befriender asked me why is my befriendy a male and yet he wants breasts so the, the direct answer would be because your befriendy who is a male has a transgender identity in other words your befriendy is a trans woman and then the next question he asked me how did he become a trans woman okay uh, you, a person becomes a trans woman let me got to go with one step back one step back to find out how a person develop a transgender identity instead of a cisgender a cisgender identity or a normal gender identity a regular okay like some people prefer the word regular instead of a regular gender identity okay so it goes back to to all the way down to having a self issue i'm trying to simplify this you know i mean this is not this is a complex subject okay in one i you can't explain it explain it through just one video a uh, facebook live like this but a little information is better than no information at all but with little information don't act like you're an expert it doesn't work that way but at least some information so the root cause is actually a self issue what's a self issue and i speak about the self the self issue in my victory programs okay i have i run two types of victory programs i travel the world i travel all over the country to to present these victory programs and they are the victory talk in short it is known as v talk you can check out my videos on my v talk videos on my youtube channel okay and you and there are another victory program that is called the victory meet in short it's on the v meet so the v talk and the v meet are the programs that i teach on issues pertaining to sexuality to sexual brokenness and the list goes on so for those who just join in what are we talking about i'm talking about a little conversation that i have just had with a befriender who is a befriender a befriender is someone who is being trained by my ministry real life ministry on how to help and journey with people who are struggling with their sexuality so the question that was thrown at me by this befriender is reverend admin my befriendy is a male but why is he interested in having breast and the immediate response to that would be because he has a transgender identity so if a female has a transgender identity she will hope to have penis get it she will hope to not have breast if a male has a transgender identity he will hope that his penis will drop off and that was my hope in the past he will hope that he has breast so that's how it is that when you when you have a transgender identity you will want to be biologically different you reject the biological the biological aspect of yourself that you were born with okay so why why do some people have a transgender identity and a simple answer would be because they have a self issue a self issue is basically a rejection of self i'm not saying everyone with a self issue will lead to becoming a transgender no 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 i'm not saying that don't quote me wrongly do justice to what i'm saying please okay so uh, but nevertheless if you have a self issue you don't resolve it you may not lead into becoming you may not end up becoming a transgender or you may not end up having a transgender identity but you will end up having some problems because the self issue must be resolved Okay a self issue could be rejecting your gender rejecting your nose rejecting yourself rejecting your ethnicity rejecting your skin color rejecting everything you are that God made you as whom you are to be please remember this we are created by a genius who is God God is genius God is amazing he's superb God works so hard to bring my father and my mother together so that i can be born just the way i am in a similar way in the same way god brought you and your father and your mother together and then you are born just the way you are because if i think i was talking to my son ethan just few days i think it was yesterday yes my wife and i were talking to my son we were just chatting the three of us and and he asked this question he said uh, if if apa married somebody else will i be born i said no way you cannot be born unless apa and mom comes together 
and we talk about how God brought my wife from Pahang all the way to Malacca and we met and that's how he's born. So I am who I am, just the way I am, my skin color, my my char charisma, my character, my eye, brown eye color and everything I am is because God put my father and my mother together. Yes, it has to be that way. So you are no mistake. How tall you are, how big your nose is, how small your eyes is, how dark you are, how short you are, whatever you are, you are not a mistake because God worked really hard to bring your father and your mother. God sometimes worked mysteriously. So oh, I wish my mother is something. If you no, there's no way your mother can be somebody else. If that if the other woman is is you the, the other woman that you hope your mother to be your mother, if she became your mother, you will not be born. Get it? So you are not a mistake. You are who you are because God wants you to be who you are. Not taller, not shorter, not fairer, not darker. So if you have any aspect of your life that you reject and you still continue to reject it instead of embracing it and eventually celebrating it, you have a self-issue. Issues go. Freedom comes. Don't be a fool to hold on to your issues. Holding on to issues is like holding on to a useless garbage full of rubbish throw them away resolve them so these self issues can be resolved so every transgender individual trans man or trans woman they have a self issue they basically have gone through something of the past okay they have gone through something of the past can be all the way to the womb you know because we, we were created even before the womb do you know that because the word of god tells us god says this before i put you in the womb I created you. I created you even before I entered into the womb. But we entered into an imperfect womb and an imperfect human being carrying us for nine months. So things could happen even while we are in the womb. And that doesn't mean God created us that way. We were created by God. We existed in the spiritual realm even before we entered the womb. Get it? All right, so... Things could have happened, even right from the womb, like a mother who wants to abort the child, that can do something to the child's emotions, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, many things happen to us in the womb, post-womb, pre, you know, in the womb, and post-womb, a season of our lives that can cause us to actually develop a self-issue, a rejection of, of ourselves in this way or that way. You know, so the, the beautiful part of this all is that the self-issues are... Real. If you're a Filipino, I see Miriam. Miriam Tan, you're watching. My old friend Miriam. Yeah, you're a Filipino, okay? I'm just using this as an example. If you're a Filipino and you, you, you reject the fact that you're a Filipino, that's a self-issue. So, oh, I'm not a Filipino. I am a Korean. Or, or you're a Chinese. Oh, I'm, I'm not Chinese. I'm Japanese. Or whatever it is. You know, you, we are to celebrate the person whom God made us to be we are not a mistake because we are talking about this almighty God who is able, who is able to do all things. And we are a miracle. You, you who are watching right now this video, you are a miracle. You are not a mistake. God made you just the way you are and God put you where you are. Okay, God is amazing. So we give God the glory for making us, us. All right, so every self-issues must be resolved even as we enter and entered into a new year 2021 okay one of the the goals should be this year is to resolve any remaining self issue in your life you're an indian celebrate being an indian god deliberately wanted you to be an indian get it you're a man you're a male there is a reason why i was born male i hated being male i used to curse my penis i used to pray to god even though i was not born again but i was younger i used to pray to god for my penis to fall off my body yes real story okay but today i love my penis today i love my nose i used to think my nose is ugly my sister helga when we were growing up she used to make fun of me say big nose big nose your nose is like debbie gibson any of you heard of debbie gibson okay yeah, Debbie Gibson is, I used to love Debbie Gibson. She's a, she's a singer, okay? Some of you are, many of you are too young to know who's Debbie Gibson and some of too old to know who's Debbie Gibson. Okay, Debbie Gibson one, is a singer that I used to like. I think you can still Google her. Well, she had big nose and my sister Helga used to tease me. Big nose, big nose, big nose, Debbie Gibson nose. And I used to actually hate my nose because of what my sister said, you know? And I used to 
desire to go for nose surgery but today no i love my nose i love every aspect of my being i used to wish i was darker because i idolized naomi campbell as a trans girl as a trans young woman in the past i used to look at naomi campbell as my role model because naomi campbell and i are the same age we are 51 this year okay now so naomi campbell uh, career took off as a model okay model when she was 15 so as a 15 year old trans woman young trans woman i used to look at her as a role model thinking that hey if she's black at that time being a black model is not common if she's black and she can be known as beautiful and she can make it as a model then i too even i as i am as a, a electric you somebody saying that's right andy george you're right electric but electric youth um uh, okay, let me sing. Let me think of a song that I like, uh, Andy. Probably, so I, I guess you're on, you're on my same era. You, Andy left a comment saying "Electric You." That's one of Debbie Gibson's song. If I was an only child, da 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 da. If you say jump up, jump up high. If you say run, run, da da da. That's a song I remember. I don't know the lyrics, of course. I'm just da 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 da. You know, that's a song of by Debbie Gibson. And yeah, anyway, this is not about Debbie Gibson. It's about why I brought up Debbie Gibson because I used to reject my nose. I used to reject a lot of time. I used to reject a lot of things from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. But you know what? I don't just accept myself today, but I went on to embrace myself. And today I tell you, I'm not in a self-conceited way, but today I celebrate me. I celebrate me because I realize that I've been created by an amazing, super amazing God. I must be amazing. Same goes to each and every one of you. You are amazing. You're not a mistake. God paid you to be who you are because God needs each and every one of us to be just the way we are with our talents and our natural giftings to do what we are supposed to do on this planet. We are to be the best versions of ourselves. Try not to be somebody else. We can learn from other people, but don't be somebody else. I want to be the best version of Edmund Lawrence Smith. You, Lily. Lily just sent me a piece. I can see in the comment. Be the best version of Lily. Lily. You know, instead of being anybody else. You know, so yeah. So self-issues have to go. Issues go, freedom come. And also, denial is fatal. If you have got self-issue and you pretend like you don't have them, you are being foolish. Because denial won't help, any, won't help you anyway. So, you, you, is there anything about you? Uh, oh, Andy is saying your nose is proportioned enough, Pastor. Thank you so much, Andy. Mm. <laughs> All glory to God. God gave me this nose, you know. So, whether it's proportionate or not, I don't care. And God has a reason for giving me this nose, these brown eyes that I have. Okay, I'm the only one in my family that has that has have brown eyes. Brown eyes. My daughter, keep my daughter Angel, keep on saying, "Papa, I wish I had your eyes." <laughs> you know, God has a reason for not giving her my eyes. You know, like the eye color. I mean, so anyway, please, people, people of God, go forth, go forth, go forth to resolve. Every your hair is curly, celebrate. Okay, once in a while you want to straighten your hair for fun. I mean, if you have curly hair, you straighten your hair. I'm not saying that's wrong, but make sure it's just. For a season, not because you hate or do not hate anything about you that God gave you. Do not hate your parents. Do not hate whatever your gender. Okay, you hate your gender. You're gonna have a lot of problems. I used to hate my gender. You know, as as a as a trans woman, we we will we go through this. We do this activity called tucking. Tuck means we push our penis all the way down so that we can be flat in front. For as trans men, they do binding. They bind their top to make it flat. And it's painful. It's terrible. It's not easy. So, and that's what devil wants. The enemy is real. Okay, just as God is real, listen up. The enemy is real as well. And, and he wants to kill, steal, and destroy. You know, I thank God I've been set free. I've been set free. I've been set free! In the name of Jesus and for the glory of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. And because the Father loves me and the Father loves you. The Father loves each and every one of you here watching me. Do share this video so that others can also go forth to begin to love themselves. 34, 64, 100-fold. I believe I've come to the place of loving myself 100-fold. You know what I'm saying? That's it's a I came I was in a place of loving myself zero fold. And now I love myself a hundredfold. That is a beautiful place to be in. 
Shalom everyone. Have a great, great um, Tuesday. All right. And for those of you who are new to me, I am the ex-transgender pastor. You can find me on my socials with my username slash handle. One word, ex-transgender pastor. All right. I'm a child of God, period. That's the, that's the, the primary way I describe myself. Yep, and for those of you who are on Zoom, tonight we're having a Zoom fellowship. Come and join us. Just drop me a message on WhatsApp and then join us tonight. Um, it's Thursday, yes, Elder Cheryl. Thank you. Yesterday was Wednesday. I had my SV meet where I teach sign language, so today must be Thursday. <laughs> yes, come and join us tonight for fellowship and on Zoom, all right? And if you want to know, get more details, have more details on Zoom. Some of, some, some of you can comment, can leave a comment there, the details for Zoom, so that others can, uh, yeah, can actually join us for fellowship. And for those of you who uh, are free on Sunday morning, please be free on Sunday morning at 10.30. We have a our service on Facebook Live. I tell you, the presence of God is so amazing. Sunday after Sunday, come join us and be so blessed. Jesus loves you. There's so much happening in real love ministry. Okay, my ministry, RLM in short, Prasatuan Bimbingan Kase. Come and join us. Be part of us. It's so fun, fun, fun. Jesus bless each and every one of you. Bye bye.